Department is now investigating Hillary Clinton's emails and the Clinton Foundation. These kinds of probes were shut down in 2016 for lack of evidence. My panel is back with me, and Jen, I, I promised you could go first. So the, the floor is yours. Sure. Well, uh, two things. I think the, the, the suggestion that this is some Trumpian DOJ rush to judgment, I think, is not correct. Uh, I think no one would accuse uh, Attorney General Jeff Sessions of rushing to judgment. Oh, if anything, I'll accuse him of it. Right. If anything, uh, Republicans like myself think he's been a little slow to act. He's uh -huh. been slow to get involved. Um, so I don't think this is some sort of rush to judgment here. Um, secondly, I don't think this is, you know, some um, New York field office at the FBI uh, in the pocket of Donald Trump going after the Clintons. You have uh, several reports that say there are FBI agents in Little Rock, the hometown of the Clintons, sniffing around uh, issues such as did the Clintons abuse their tax exempt status? Uh, did they uh, participate in a pay to play scandal? Um, when it gets that close, it reminds me of the old mob boss cases where people went to jail not because of the big pay to play scandal, but because of tax evasion and, and minor. That sounds like, like that. Donald Trump. Do you, are you, I mean, <laughs> what you just said sounds exactly like Donald Trump. Do you think Donald Trump's foundation should be investigated by the DOJ? No, I don't. Even but, though it has been found to have used money from the foundation to buy portraits of himself to potentially pay off uh, the attorney general in Florida. There's been a lot that's been uncovered that's been real. What you talked about in Arkansas, they were going around and doing interviews that my reading of that New York Times story is that they don't have a lot. They're just doing interviews. So Troy. they haven't found anything. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Who's jumping in? Me, Joe. Joe. May I? I can't see you. Go. Yeah. I mean, look, you know what's happening in Arkansas is they've appointed a crony of Mike Huckabee as the interim U.S. attorney. And uh, he's pretending to investigate this. And, you know, they will find nothing there. I, I'd like to, you know, make a wager with Jen. Any amount you want that any criminal charges ever filed against the Clinton Foundation or anybody associated with it. What do you say? Let's, Let's go right now. Let's do it. I'm not like Mitt Romney. I don't have $10,000 to lay down on a bet, but we can come back on the show what, and, what would you and bet? settle that. You know, what, tell me, you want to bet that, that there'll be somebody criminally indicted in the Clinton Foundation. You're going to say that now? Look, I think when there's local FBI agents, uh, there are folks uh, familiar with the investigation said that they were asking substantive questions, the likes of which they had not seen what before. What folks? You have to say what folks. This Who? is according to the New York Times report. Can we pull up the New York Times report and I'll read it? Just somebody print it out for me yeah. and we'll bring it back over here. So if yeah. we could just get me a copy of that New York Times report and I'll just read it on the air. And we'll table that until yeah. I can get the report and read it. Tim yeah. O'Brien, um, you know, this is the tit for tat.